Jeremiah Hess. Um, I just recently found this bookstore, and ever since I found it, I've noticed that every time I come in here, they seem to have uh, new books in pretty much any genre that, that I'm interested in or that my girlfriend's interested in, so we tend to stop in here at least once a week, sometimes twice a week to pick up something new. Mona Reinhardt is perhaps Americana personified. I like to introduce people to p friends that I have met along the way, and she is one of the finest, most beautiful people I have ever met. She's also an entrepreneur who tends to give away her time to anyone who enters her bookstore. She also gives free books to children. A warm and wonderful lady. Mona started her bookstore because of a dream. It's real is so real and it's so spiritual. Give her a call and she'll be glad to tell you the story. Mona said, the main thing I want to do is to make people comfortable. I love people and I love to talk to people. It's a good fit. Mona's store is not a part of a chain. It is a private little bookshop where you go in, sit down, get a book and read. You stay as long as you want, but you've got to understand that she would like to make some book sales too. <laughs> That's not her reason for opening up the bookstore though. She just happens to love people. One of the reasons I like coming here is because they always have new books and pretty much every time I come in here there's something that wasn't here the last time I was here that I can pick up and uh, pretty much no matter what you like to read there's always going to be something new on the shelf that wasn't here the last time you were here so you're always going to be able to come in here and pick up something. So pretty much why I like coming in here. Hi, my name is... Someone once said of Mona if you have a love for books, it's like a candy store. But don't ask me, ask one of her customers. Uh, the way that you'd be able to get in touch with me would be through MySpace. Um, my screen name is Maya, uh, or... Maya? Maya. Would, would you spell that? M-I-A-H. Oh. Or uh, on the internet, Proteus, at uh, Yahoo, it'd be P-R-O-T-E-O-U-S. Okay, that's two. enough. Stop promoting yourself here. <laughs> Uh, more than you'd think. Really? Tell me why. I'm just a really big book dork. I collect antique books. I have an extensive collection of holistic medicine books, pagan books, uh, cookbooks. Um, yeah, a lot of books. Holistic medicine? Yeah. Do you believe in holistic medicine? Oh, fully. Do you really? Yes. Hmm, very good. And this bookstore, do you find the books that you're looking for? Um, me and... Jeremiah kind of stumbled across the place a while back and we've just been coming here off and on since because it's got a great selection and I could spend hours in here very easily. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Mona. This is our new thought section over here. We have from Buddhism to Edgar Casey all the way down to Wicca. And some of my favorite authors are over here, Og Mandingo. Uh, I have a little bit of Billy Graham. I have some... Um, Tony Robbins, and if you come over here, here's our beautiful art and photography section, and it wraps around right over here. We have some more books. We have a lot on art studies. Over here we have this whole wall here is all history, all the way down. Right here we have a lot dealing with the Navy, and we have novels and all kind of books of interest right here. This right here starts into the different wars. We go from the American Revolution, Civil War, World War I, uh, World War Condensed. We go a little bit farther down where we go into world leaders, American history, and journalist view. And then as you go down, it goes into the different countries and their history. We have Goff, 
all the way to boxing. Uh, uh, we go. One of the reasons why I like to visit Mona's store is because of her. Every time I see her, she gives me a hug. Do you remember the old-fashioned way of greeting people by giving a hug? Okay. This whole wall starts alphabetized by author. We go a little bit farther down and we have the mystery. And that's the same as categorized by author. Right here we have our science fiction. We have the hardbacks right here. And then we have the paperbacks that are in front by the uh, front desk. And what section is this? Sections because it also has some of my favorite authors. Over here we have literature, plays, and this is category by author. And we also have some that are kind of like group sets for your bookcases that look really nice. And they basically have several different okay. authors. Here we have our African American section. Uh, we have some by novels, but a lot of it is dealing with the history and the past. A uh, very nice section, very well put. Photographies. And over here we have our paperback. Uh, literature paperbacks which are quite popular especially with the kids in college and kids in high school a lot of their reading comes from right here okay over here we have another one of my favorite subjects a large selection of those over here we have the self-help which is a very very nice uh, selection of books to help motivate you in whatever areas of your life you feel that you need help in and we also have diet and nutrition here where we have all the latest diets that are out and we also have books that help you with uh, natural care. We have the children's section right here which has from new to old. Uh, some of the books here go all the way back. This is our children's books of nonfiction. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, geography and English and uh, great people in history. Over here we have our poetry. We have our Native American. And these right here are our old classics. And you see how some of the old classic and old textbooks, they go into the early 1900s, late 1800s. But these have a lot of the authors that uh, wrote back in the 40s and 50s. Uh, we try to keep them around because every once in a while somebody comes in looking for some of those out of print books. Over here we have a large selection of graphic novels, which is very, very popular with the uh, kids in school right now. And then we have a large humor selection. And right back here we have our gardening. And we have right here our dealing with animals, dogs, cats. Back here we have our foreign language, which is quite popular. Uh, a lot of the uh, tourists come in and try to see what new books we have in, in foreign language. We even have some novels that are written in foreign language. Right here we have a nice selection of dictionaries. A lot of people that read a lot, um, they come in and get a lot of the older dictionaries because the newer dictionaries have dropped off a lot of words they no longer use. So you can see we have a vast variety of all types of books here.